Hello everybody, my name is It's Strix, and in today's video I'll be showing you how to convert your Minecraft Xbox 360 worlds onto your PC. Now in this case I'll be converting over to the Bedrock Edition, but you can also do it to Java, although it is safer to go to Bedrock as there is some corrupting issues when it goes to Java, such as in a flat world sometimes the terrain doesn't... um the terrain just doesn't fully work out and stuff, it's, it's kind of weird. So I recommend going to Bedrock Edition, which is the Windows 10 Edition, but if you want to go to Java, you can. And also the steps are basically the same, you just need to click to convert to Java instead of convert to Bedrock. Anyways, first thing you want to do is install a tool called Horizon. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to go through the installer. But one thing I'm going to say is make sure that you read what's installing and make sure you don't check something such as um, McAfee, I'm pretty sure it tries to install that. So make sure that you read what you're installing. Only install the Horizon tool because there is trying to install some bloatware. So watch out for that. Anyways, for, before we do that, you also want to go ahead and put your stuff onto a flash drive. Put your world onto it. It's very easy to do. I'm assuming you guys know how to do that because all you need to do is you need to plug it into your Xbox 360, go into the storage and copy the world from your storage device onto the flash drive. So I'm assuming you guys not to do that if you're attempting to do this, but yeah. Anyways, next thing you want to do is open up Horizon. And you'll see the logo show up. And there we go. So now what you want to do is you want to go to the games on this section, Minecraft. Then you want to double click on your world. In this case, it's my city that I made a while ago. You want to click on contents. And then you want to select and extract selected. Now what you want to do is you want to save it into somewhere that you can find easily. In this case, I put it onto my desktop under 360 world, which is just a folder. And then I put it under the world name. As you can see, I've um, converted over some other worlds as well. But in this case, I'll just be doing my city world. So what you want to do is you want to just save it as save game .dat. And I already have one because I already converted this world, but I guess we can replace that. Now you want to download a tool called MCC Tool Chest. I'll link this in the description as well as Horizon by the, Horizon, by the way. You want to download the old generation consoles. Now I have seen some other tutorials for this, but they have updated this recently to make it a lot easier. So now you don't also have to install in the PE version. You just need the tool chest for old generation. Now all you want to do is install it. And this doesn't install any bloatware, I'm pretty sure. So you should be safe with that. Once you've installed that, you want to open it up. And you should be greeted with this screen. And it might say that an update is available. No big deal. It should work fine anyways. Now you want to open up the save game about that. So just double click that. And then this is all like your data on people that have the world and also just world data next up is very simple you want to go on to bedrock edition or if you're converting to java go to java edition just want to let it load here all right so once you're loaded in you can do this for java as well just want to go to play and then you want to create a new world the reason why you do this is because this world will be overwritten with the xbox 360 world so you don't even need to give it a name, creative, peaceful, create. Alright, so now you don't need to do, any, do anything on this world, you're just gonna wanna save it. Then X out. Now what you wanna do is on your tool chest, you want to click edit, or not my bad, not edit, my bad. Um, tools, convert, and then you wanna go to bedrock. Now what you want to do is you want to select the world that you want to overwrite. So in this case, we'll do our new world. Then you can select if you want to do the other dimensions, if you want to convert those over. And then just leave everything else the way it is. Doesn't really matter. Well, I just want to click on convert. And it should take like 10 seconds, give or take. So I'll be with you guys when it's ready. Alright, so now very important, you want to click on save. This will overwrite the world officially and now if we head back onto the bedrock edition we should be able to play our new xbox 360 world all right so now we're here play and this is the world that we just created click on it and then we can just let it load
And just like that, it's completely overwritten. This is the spawn point from Xbox 360 World. And there we go. Now there are sadly a few things wrong with this. For one, there is a bit of generation glitches. This was once a roller coaster. Well, that's kind of funny. Yeah, as you can see, there's obviously some generation glitches though. So if you have like roller coasters, for example, I have one here that kind of got glitched. So you might have to replace some of that. Also, obviously, e-chest data doesn't save because it's p picking you up as a different player. And sadly, chest and sign data don't save as well. So this used to be a chest room. And honestly, it's kind of funny. The chests don't even load. So if you were to break them, none of the data is here. Just pretty sad. So that means that if you are on a survival world, you're kind of out of luck. I'm sorry about that. Another sad thing though is sign data doesn't save this was a street name at one point, but what's funny is it picks it up as a sign, but the sign doesn't even render in. Which is very weird. I just um middle clicked on it, selected the block, and yeah, it didn't save. Also, none of the entities saved, so minecarts for example, also um what else? Armor sands. And if you had any mobs like kept those didn't save either. Also, you're gonna have to replace some redstone blocks. Like for example, there was once a minecart here, but it kind of glitched out. So you might have to replace stuff like that. Also some other things, um, if I were to get a redstone block, just to show you guys this. Yeah, so some redstone items such as note blocks, um, I think repeaters are okay. Yeah, repeaters are okay, but stuff like note blocks, redstone lamps, they're not gonna be um, lighting up. You're gonna have to break and replace if you wanna see them. Actually, that's not a good example. If you wanna see them light up. Also, another interesting feature is that the world on the flat world will actually start generating new terrain at the world border. I wonder if we set this world to flat, if it would be constant but it is kind of interesting just to look at all of that stuff and uh, yeah so if you guys enjoyed this short tutorial um like comment subscribe if you guys want to suggest a tutorial video for me to do i can make it just leave it in the comments i'll see you guys in the next episode goodbye